obviously, this is a experiment being done by us on our test equipment, and we're aware that some people will have concerns about that. However, we've tried to present this in a cogent way and in a transparent way, and I would encourage anybody who is in the audience to come and have a look at the system afterwards. However, what we're also offering is from Wednesday of this week, anybody can book and come in and test this with our engineers. All that we ask is that you book it, and the details will be on our website from, I think, tomorrow morning. Um, you can come in, you can bring your own test equipment. We've decided to extend our stay here in the waterways until Friday the 26th of February to enable that. And that is really the last offering from Storm in terms of validating the technology. And we can really do no more than that. What we are about, um, for those who are suspicious or uh, perhaps um, cautious of our own experiments, but what we're really about is getting this technology into the hands of the development community. And on Monday, we open our, our developer forum. And our developer forum is the place where you can learn and understand and implement Orbo. Um, it's being opened on Monday for a, a group of commercial organizations who have pre-applied, and it will be open to the rest of the developer community the following week. Um, all the test data that we have generated, the digital scope, is stored. Um, it will be documented along with various other third-party tests that have happened. And that will be available on our website within a few days. We're going to take a couple of days break. I hope that's understood. Um, but it will be up on our website. And anybody can get the data, analyze it, and talk to us about it. And that, folks, is pretty much that. Questions? Yep. Could you explain this trace? Could you, does, this, does this trace definitively sum up what you're saying about Orbo technology? Because I... I you know, you're saying that this yep. trace here definitively proves over unity. Can you explain, break down that trace even further? Because yeah, I don't understand I, it. Um, I guess I kind of really have to come back to, to where I started the presentation and say... Can you repeat the question? The question is, does the, does the trace definitively prove that Orbo is over unity? And, and the answer is... No, you have to take the summary of the three tests. And that this is, this is literally an embodiment or encapsulment of these three effects. If we had... You said, you said the trace is I squared R. I don't understand part of the trace. What the trace is integral I squared R. Sorry. Inter the, the output trace is integral I squared R with respect to time. Yeah? Okay. That's the output. So it's showing that it's constantly increasing. Yeah, well, it's, it's an energy trace. It's not a power trace. So every time that the coil passes, you'll see that as it passes, the energy bumps up, the energy produced bumps up. Yeah. So this represents the output energy, and this is the net input energy. So we put some energy into creating the magnetic field, and that's the inductance energy we put in, and we recover from some from the collapse of the magnetic field. And so the net, if you look at this, this is a fixed time period. The net in output, excuse me, touch screen, with me here. The net output is represented over this time frame, is represented by the um, I guess brown line, and the purple line represents the net input. But that excludes the work done by the rotor. That's purely the electrical picture. Any other questions? You mentioned a very handsome 300%, 320 yep. percent back. Do you have more powerful configurations than this? Um, <laughs> I appreciate this is a demonstration machine rather than a. Well, the, the, the answer is yes. Okay, but you've got to understand that we're not an academic research institution, and we're trying to put on display sufficient to appeal to our target community. Um, if we were purely a research organization funded by a government. It would all be published. It would be out there. Um, we're a commercial organization. Um, we have invested ourselves, the people in the company, our shareholders. We've invested a lot of time and money, a lot of reputation into this. And so we are not going to put out the optimum or the maximum into the public domain. We're putting in what we believe is sufficient to prove our point. Um, what we have had and what we've noticed 
since we started doing these live experiments is an awful lot of the people who have visited the waterway center, we've had about 2,500 visitors, are very much focused on the core issue and we're attracting to an audience that is the audience that we're after. This is not for, to be frank at this point, for the general public is of interest. Um, our market for this are product developers. Could I, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 I'll get to you, sorry. <laughs> Mike, I dare ask you to put a figure on just how efficient your best machine has been. Uh, what, what's the energy differential here? A couple of micro, 50, 150 microjoules. So you're looking at electrical in, electrical out, 150 microjoules per rev, yeah. okay? We're getting one and a half millijoules of work out of the rotor. Yes. So the numbers, but the numbers are, are a, are, and everybody's focused on the punchline numbers and, you know, is it, you know, 120%, I heard a number strangely somewhere recently, um, or is it, you know, another large number. Um, the question of power output is only a question of speed. Because you have no back EMF limitation, the faster you go, the more power you output. Um, and there is a lot of engineering and fine balancing in, the, in, in these kind of systems. Understood. The gentleman in the red, sorry, you've been very patient. Just clarify, did you say you already had independent data? Independent company, it. We, we have had um, a variety, some of which is in the public domain, um, and we have not put out some of the reports that we've had done over the year because if we put out a video with three engineers who got slated on the internet, um, they didn't deserve it, um, they did a very professional job over an extended period, so we've tried as much as possible not to put people in that predicament because what happens is it actually makes other people less willing to come and test and publish. Um, however, you can expect that as a result of this extended period, we'll be putting an awful lot more independent validation into the public domain. And we've also had independent, um, the jury, which I'm sure some of you heard of, who basically said no. Um, so it's not um, a 100% positive in our favor in, in terms of what's publicly been stated. But there is validation out there, and more will be coming.